Hey everyone, Jody here to sync you up on the latest from the world of gaming. In our lead story this week, Bungie announced that they won't be attending E3 this year. Gamers hoping to find out what the former Halo developer has been up to since signing a 10-year publishing deal with Activision won't find out until after this year's show. In a statement issue today, Bungie said, We wanted to make sure you didn't get whipped into any rumor field frenzy, only to have your expectations unceremoniously dashed during Expo Week. Info on Bungie's first game with Activision is sparse. All anyone knows is that it will run on a new engine, will be set in a new universe, and will be offered on multiple platforms. I guess we'll have to wait until after E3 to see what they've got cooking. And now, a quick update on the latest news from Sony. Word came in from Japan over the weekend that it looks like the PlayStation Network is expected to be fully restored on May 31st, which means you have about three more weeks to get through those single-player games you've been trying to finish. In previews today, we have an exclusive multiplayer preview and interview for Duke Nukem Forever. If you have to sum up the multiplayer action of Duke Nukem Forever in one phrase, it has to be, it's all about the guns. The weapons of Duke Nukem 3D are what made the classic game's multiplayer so memorable, so they're bringing back the Shrink Ray, the Freeze Ray, the Ripper, the Jetpack, and many other favorites. You'll use these in modes like Team Duke Match, Hail to the King, and Capture the Babe. Duke Nukem Forever will ship for the PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360 on June 14th. In reviews this week, the GameSpot editorial team will be taking a couple high-profile games through the ringer. First up, Chris Waters weighs in on Bethesda's sci-fi first-person shooter, Brink. With more to do than simply scoring kills to win a match, developer Splash Damage is betting that their in-depth character creation tool, parkour system, and gameplay relying heavily on teamwork will win the hearts and minds of competitive online players. Fans of the LEGO video game franchise can look forward to Kevin Van Orr's review of LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. The latest installment in developer TT Games' ongoing LEGO series will be released a few weeks before the Disney film Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, and will cover content across all four movies. LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game, is coming out on every platform, so be on the lookout for Kevin's reviews this week. That's all the time we have today. This is Jody Robinson signing off. Let's sync back up tomorrow.